guys welcome to cisco with aman sony and in this video we are going to talk about border gateway protocol the basics of bgp protocols before we start with the bgp protocol i would like to talk about the routing protocol itself so first let me show you a slide regarding the dynamic routing protocols the dynamic routing protocols are classified into two categories igp and egp IGP is your interior gateway routing protocols, EGP exterior gateway routing protocols. As the name indicates, interior gateway routing protocol means that they will work interior to your company or organization. The technical word is autonomous system. The IGP protocols works within an autonomous system. What is an autonomous system? An autonomous system is a group of routers or network devices which are managed by a single organization. So within your organization, you will be running either distance vector protocol or the link state protocol. On the other hand, exterior gateway protocol, the job of EGP protocols are to connect different organizations, different companies, or to be technical specific, different autonomous systems. BGP is the only routing protocol that is used nowadays. So that's why it is so popular. And it is not that much even if you study your CCNA basic networking. In your basic networking, you study about RIP, AIGRP and OSPF. And all of them are your IGP protocols. So BGP is quite vast. BGP has its own certification itself. But in this particular lecture, we are going to talk about the basics of BGP protocol. So let's first talk about the difference between IGP protocols and BGP. Why BGP is so different, why it is big, why it is so complex. So BGP, the only EGP protocol to help you communicate with different AS as I told about. Now, the biggest difference between your IGP protocols, meaning be whether your RIP, your EIGRP and OSPF. They cannot handle much routes. They cannot handle as much routes as your BGP can handle. They are not scalable. They are designed for small networks, small companies, small AS. Within an AS they will be run. Why? Because they cannot support more networks. What do you mean by more? More means they can support less than 1000 routes. They cannot carry more than that. If you try to do that, your even your router can crash. Your BGP is quite scalable instead. It can support more than 1000 of routes. But how much exactly? BGP exactly, there is no particular limit. Yes, it's quite right. BGP can support unlimited routes. But given your hardware capability, what do you mean by hardware capability? Your RAM, your processor of your router should also be capable of handling that much of routes. In your bigger organizations, you can have your la even lakhs of routes within the ISP and among different ISPs when BGP is used. So the other difference, same autonomous system. When you are running IGP, my friends, the autonomous system number have to be same. What do you mean? Let's start the protocol. Because this is a routing protocols and they have to be router, right? If there are two routers and you want to run routing protocol between them, let it be RIP, let it be EIGRP, let it be OSPF, then you have to put them in some sort of logical boundary. Now, in RIP, you don't have any particular AS. In EIGRP, you have the concept of autonomous system. But even though you have the concept of autonomous system, you have to say that my left side is running EIGRP 100 and my right side it is running EIGRP 200. Otherwise, these two routers will never ever communicate. So, BGP is different in that aspect. You can say that for BGP, I have my two routers with completely different autonomous system. AS100 and your AS200, let us say. These can be different organizations. And let's take an example. It can be your Airtel. And this one can be your AT&T. Two different ISPs, two different networks. Now, their routers, if they are running BGP protocols, they can make BGP pairing. What do you mean by BGP pairing? BGP pairing means the BGP neighborship. They will use BGP to exchange lakhs and lakhs of routes between them. 
now when we are talking about autonomous system and bgp we have to talk about the concept of ibgp and your ebgp as well your internal bgp and your external bgp now when you are running bgp within same autonomous system well, yes you can do that but actually that is not the superpower of bgp bgp is so amazing it can do ebgp meaning it can make neighborship appearing between different as as 100 and as 200 so what bgp we are running here ibgp or ebgp actually this is a ebgp peering but when we you are doing the peering when you are running or configuring the bgp will you be specifying that i am running ibgp or ebgp no you will be just doing the normal bgp configuration bgp commands bgp neighborship but when you're doing that, if the autonomous system is different, then you will say it is an eBGP. Obviously, the properties, the characteristics and some things will be different. We will talk about them in the later series of this video. Now, let me just copy this whole thing right here. We have to be some duplicate. Here it is. Let's take them one by one. Okay. Only that, I guess. Now, when we are running routers that are in your same organization meaning what let's expand this as right here we are having as100 let's move the bits and pieces apart yes make much more sense we have a single organization but our organization you can say it is so big that we have lakhs and lakhs of routes within itself and within this organization you can even run bgp it is just in BGP, but the concept is that we are having, my friends, same AS number on the router. So when you are doing BGP, you will be just configuring the normal commands. But in here, you will be calling this guy IBGP pairing. And obviously, some characteristics will be differ. So this is the concept, the basic core concept of a BGP. You can run in a bigger network. You can run between different companies, different ISP, different internet service providers, like, whether it be Airtel or AT&T. If the BGP is running between different AS, it is eBGP peering. If it is running between same, within same organization, within same AS, then it is called iBGP peering. Okay. So that's all for this video, I guess, because we were talking about the basics only. In the next video, we'll be talking about how this BGP peering is made. How to configure the basic BGP. We'll be configuring IBGP between two routers and we will be also be configuring eBGP. The basic commands and the basic concepts. So if you like this video, subscribe the channel and keep tuning for more. Thank you guys. Love you all. Thank you for watching. I'm Sony signing out.